Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Isaiah Hill, and continuing on with uh, the horror movies and Halloween-type themed movies, this is a film that I really saw. Like, I actually was not considering this, but then I saw him, like, I gotta throw it in there. And this will be a part of the horror movies. And the thing is... Sorry, just... Just in my box. <laughs> and this film is part of an anthology that I got, and it was really cheap. It was, like, seriously, like, five bucks. And I was like, all right... So I think I'm going to talk about this and fixing it up, fixing it up. And that film is Alien. And it's part of the Alien anthology. Now, I really like the Alien movies. Uh, it has Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, Alien Resurrection. I really like all of them. Uh, Alien 3 I never really had a problem with, but people were like, oh yeah, it's like the worst film. It's the worst film in the series. I'm going to get back like in center. And I never saw that. I never saw that set. So, Alien stars Sigourney Weaver, Tom Skerritt, uh, let me see, Veronica Cartwright, Harry Dean, um, how do you say that name? Staten, John Hurt, Ian Holmes, and you can tell it's Parker. I think that's how you say it. The main reason why I have to read off this is because literally, like, some, like, names, like, were getting crossed, but anyway. You guys want to hear about it. So, Alien is directed by Ripley Scott, who uh, I talked about previously in The Martian. This is a man who is well known for, like, uh, directing. He is a great science fiction director. Uh, and he really shines in this. And one thing I want to talk about in particular is the cast. The cast really does a good job. So, Gordon Weaver, I knew her from, like, Ghostbusters. But seeing her in this, it was like, it changed everything. Because I was like, whoa. Uh... That, that's new. And then seeing her in Aliens, that was something interesting. Now, the first time I saw Aliens, it actually wasn't like on a DVD, Blu-ray. It was actually in a movie theater. Um, there's a theater called, it's in uh, my hometown, Waveland. Um, and it's uh, Beacon. And they were had Sci-Fi Night. And I was, and, they were, and I went to, my brother took me to go see it, And I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And... Then watching the first one, I saw like the first one, it was like really like late at night on like a movie channel. And seeing the, like this film, alright, there are going to be, there is going to be a spoiler here. Some spoilers here and there, but this film is like notorious for one scene in particular. And that is the gut busting scene. This is a scene, like if you just mentioned Alien, people know about the gut busting scene. Like, wait, is that the one with the, with the uh, thing coming, with the alien coming out? And yes, it is, it was like that, and it's really scary. Fun fact, the way how they did this was they, they used, like, butcher parts. They went to, like, a butcher, and they got, like, a bunch of, like, parts, and they basically made the alien. And what's really cool about this is the effects. This film, like, has marvelous effects. The cast does a great job around it. And the film is, overall, like, pretty terrifying. And this one, the first one's a horror film. The second was more of an action film. The third one, I ha I think it's like an action horror film. That's actually how I saw it. In Resurrection, I haven't seen it in years. But I think it was... Alright. I mean, it's not my favorite of this, but you never know. that These can be amongst the worst films of your life, but I enjoy them. So the thing is with Alien, they're, it's about these, pe these people who are on a ship. And John Hurt, if you do not know who John Hurt is, he's uh, Mr. Ollivander from Harry Potter. And I feel like that's the closest I can get. Or if you're a Mets, massive Doctor Who fan, he's from that. And the thing is with Alien is... Like, the tagline was, In space, no one can hear you scream. And that... That is pretty terrifying. So the Alien is... Like, it's an interesting creature because how they used it. The creature is not like any other creature... Uh, the cast really even show that. And the film, like, has, like, robotics. And when you are watching this, this film does make you feel uneasy. Like, actually, after watching this film, it was actually hard for me to eat, like, some foods. Because, like, how, like, what they're eating, like, in the alien, like, uh, during the chest busting scene. I was like, oh. And even, um, fun fact, like, Spaceballs uh, spoofed this with John Hurt reprising his role. And it was pretty interesting, like, that's how I actually knew about this. It was from Spaceballs. And Spaceballs was a film that I grew up with, like, with my brothers. It was a film that I still watch today and that I greatly enjoy. Uh, John Hurd is an amazing actor. May he rest in peace. And the thing is, like, he is an actor that 
I feel like a lot of people should be watching more of. He is great here, even though he is, like, brief, but he reacts to everything, like, so naturally. The film, like, it has, like, a gritty, like, dark tone, and the, and everything around it, it makes it, like, seem like that the film is, like, taking you somewhere, but you do not know where, and you're like, who's next? It's almost like that, like, who is next on the, like, that the alien is going to kill? And that's what I like about this film. Like, it is suspense. It has, like, great suspense. Like, and that's, like, a lot, something that I was wondering about. Should I consider this? Because I consider it, like, a suspense movie. But then when I watched it again, I was like, yeah, this is horror. Uh, a lot of people, like, have questioned, like, the film. A lot of people have said the film's really this, the film's really that. I think the film is uh, one of the greatest sci-fi films ever made. This film deserves an amazing. And I'll go down the list. I'll do, like, with Nightmare on Elm Street. Even though these aren't horror. Aliens gets an amazing. That was a really fun film. James Cameron directed. <laughs> Ow. Ow, that hurt. Thankfully, no snot came out this way. But I had to wipe that. Ow. James Cameron directed it, and I believe he even uh, wrote it. Let me see. Yeah, he uh, wrote. He wrote it as well. And James Cameron, like Gordon, according to Sigourney Weaver, geez, that's a tongue twister. She. She said James Cameron actually did the series justice because he's like he was like the only one that knew what to do. He was like the one who actually made it uh, like as it is. Alien Three, I never really it never really bothered me. I always enjoyed it. Alien Resurrection, I thought was good, but then after watching it, like because it was years since I've seen it, and then I rewatched it, I'm like, eh, could have been better. But the first three, I do recommend. I mean, if you don't care for like the if you don't care for it, like I understand, uh, but this is, a, but these are, this is a film I highly recommend, like to check out. It's a really fun film. Another thing, like with Alien, that I really think a lot of people are, what makes it scary is like it has like a claustrophobic sense because you're up in space, you're on a spaceship, and there's a giant alien on board and it's killing everyone. I mean, you saw it be, you saw a horrific way that a man died. And now you're seeing it take take away, like, kill off people. Sigourney Weaver is a great actress, in my opinion. Uh, I really enjoyed her performances. Uh, when After I watched Ghostbusters, I was like, yeah, she is a great actress. I always saw her as, like, more of, like, that, the straight woman character. Like, like she was just a straight person. But then, like, when you watch, like, in Holes, like, where she's a really good actress in that, or Avatar, the films work. And the thing is, what I like about Alien is that it really shows off, like, what the actors can do. Like, there are times, like, where it is, like, oh, what what are they going to do? You have no idea, and that's why I love about this film. It's so suspenseful. And the horror is there. Like, it is scary. I mean, there is some pretty gruesome moments. Uh, the gut-busting scene was named as one of the scariest moments in film history. And it works because... Supposedly, the cast did not know what was going to happen. Near to John Hurt, so when you see that alien come up, their their screams are genuine. They're actually scared. Alien, it was it was success. It was released like I believe in seventy nine, somewhere like near there, and the film like was a great it was a great success, and as like that, but. Alien, I believe many should check out. I believe it is. I personally think it's a great film. Uh, I really enjoyed it. There's not that much to say about it because it's... And I like that because sometimes when I have too much to say about a film, it kind of ruins it. Here, I feel like I don't have much to say about it and I really like that because this is a film like I recommend anyone to check out. You can find this movie practically anywhere. The anthology, I am not joking. I got this for literally five bucks and i was like so surprised and you guys can find it anywhere and alien is a definite amazing it's a film that i believe like many will enjoy some film may some people may say uh, it was probably good in that time but it's not good today i don't care i love this movie uh i actually watched this and i was like wow it it deserves to be uh, considered a horror film it's really good it feels gr and it's a film like where you're satisfied and overall, guys, that's all I have to say about Alien. 
If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you guys want to see uh, more videos like this, more or any of my other reviews or my let's plays, uh, please uh, subscribe. If you guys want to share this with your friends and family, by all means, go ahead. If you guys want to ask, say, or request something, uh, comment down below. Alien was directed by Ridley Scott, and, is, and Sigourney Weaver really shows that she can act, and she is someone who does not just scream, she takes action. But overall, guys, thank you so much, and I take, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out the video. My name is Isaiah Hill. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Signing off.